Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to make an order form in Google Forms. I'll come here and first click on a blank form. Okay. And what you want to do is click on these three dots and then go ahead and click on add-ons. Now I'll show you why we're doing this in just a second, but here I want you to go ahead and search for payable. Okay. And you'll see this one, payable forms. This is in the Google Workspace Marketplace, and this is completely free. I'll show you why we're getting this. Just go ahead and click on install. As you can see, the ratings are really, really good, a 4.6 rating. Once we click on this, it will ask us to sign in with our Google account. So just choose your Google account. There we go. Click on continue, and we're gonna be basically allowing all of these permissions. Go ahead and click on allow, and as you can see, the extension okay or the add-on will it be installed now once this is installed we can go ahead and close this close this again and we can go back to our google forms so there we go it's giving us a pop-up here at the right hand panel so you can auto configure the form and sheet okay you can sync a, a theme a checkout add payment providers so if I click on this, connect a payment provider, I'll give you a bunch of different options you can set up. So Square, Stripe, PayPal, okay. Uh, PayPal co Commerce Platform, Razorpay, there's a lot of different options. You can go ahead and configure that. And now we can toggle this one to auto configure form and sheet. So it's going to ask us to enter, uh, you know, for example, an email right there. Let's wait for this to be done. Okay. so. It's going to take in the email. It's going to response track to a Google Sheet and allow, for example, multiple responses and it will add payable columns, okay? So we'll go ahead and click on this to see the connected Google Sheet we have so far. So this is our form. Of course, we'll add our own questions. So we can also sync the theme with checkout. You can toggle this one as well. Let's go and see our responses here. So you'll see the order IDs, payable totals, right the status payment method and everything like that there you go now we'll add for example the header themes title descriptions colors fonts okay of our checkout page so that is what it should look like when they go to check out this is what they will see when they're checking out of course after they select their items okay they can choose their payment methods, right? And enter their contact details as well. And if you want, you can, of course, add a sample payment section as well, right? Let me go ahead and add that and show you. So these are just samples so you can understand it. You don't have to keep these. You can edit them or add your own, okay? So this is what you're supposed to be doing, basically. So a multiple choice field, they'll basically come here and select from one of these options. I'll also show you how to set these up. And this is an example of a subscription. They come here and select whatever subscription they want. And this is a, another question. Now this is a checklist. So here they can choose multiple. Let me actually show you this in preview mode. So they come down here, they choose multiple at once. Okay, basically for add-ons. This is for selecting just one at a time, these ones, okay? You can only select one, and we also have sample of a uh, drop-down list, so you can select uh, your quantity, and if you want to go ahead and use the checkbox grid options, you can select as such, okay? And if you want to let the user specify the amount, you can also do that as well. Now, for any of these, we can easily do is just go ahead and duplicate right so if i duplicate this i can add more questions and just edit the title and the options so you don't have to know how to even set these up yourself that is another great way okay you just come here and duplicate these questions i'll show you one of them though for example multiple choice fields you just come here hover over here click on add question just type in your question here, okay? 
Make sure this is selected as multiple choice. Choose option one here. For example, Apple can add the price and then a ball. Okay. Or a banana, you can add that. And there you go. That is how you do that. And that is how you can make these order forms really that easy and simple.